I'd like to kind of bring us back around to the trust and the balance issues and the term care. Uh, the original resolution was pushed through the House in, in less than a week, from what I understand, on little working days. So that does deal with trust issues for, for a community that, that didn't have an opportunity for public hearing and comment. So, you know, how do you expect us to trust you with the original language, with the original um, speed in which this happened, as well as trusting that if, if the interests that got this through both houses so quickly won't have the same leverage to dominate the board. I mean, I've been to a number of these debates now, and um, I've heard Mr. Stepper refer to the possibility of, of the consumers being also farmers, the veterinarians also being farmers, the um, Humane Society representative also being a farmer. So that you know, we wouldn't really have that balance. Let's get to let's get to what happens after this board debate. Will they will they hold public hearings like they do before they change law uh, in the Department of Agriculture? Can we guarantee that? Yes. <laughs> is it yeah? Is it? Is it not yeah. Amendment, though. <clears throat> what we have is uh, a board that will have. Uh, with compliance to the Ohio Department of Agriculture, uh, what we're going to see in the implementing legislation is rulemaking authority under that chapter of the Ohio Revised Code that calls for public hearing in the rulemaking process. So, indeed, uh, that's going to be sought because, uh, you know, it, it's part of, as Brian speaks to, building and fortifying that, that level of trust between farmers and consumers. Yeah, there's, there's nothing in the language at this point, but as, as Keith said, that would be a reasonable yeah. 